Reolink wireless camera, RTSP, MotionEye, Blue Iris, Nodred, and Home Assistant. Or in other words, in today's video, I will play with the wireless camera and I will add it to one of the most popular software MDRs, namely MotionEye and Blue Iris. After that, I will integrate the camera to Nodred and Home Assistant, all of that using the RTSP protocol. What's up, Kirill Payansk is here. I always wanted to install good cameras in my home and to continuously record everything using a software MDR. I also wanted to have the possibility to include the cameras in my smart home hubs, namely Home Assistant and Nodred, in order to make some useful automations. And thanks to the guys from Reolink who sent me their wireless ROC 410W camera, I can now test and see if I can do all that I wanted. So you can expect to see in this video a quick unboxing, which believe me, it is worth to see, and then step-by-step -step tutorials of this camera integration with MotionEye, Blue Iris, Nodred, and Home Assistant. The benefit for you will be that you can get and easily adapt the things that I'm about to show you and directly use them for your cameras. That includes any recent Reolink or other RTSP enabled cameras. Now, let's go! Here is the camera package. Let's see what's inside, but first let me check what's written on the box. The model is RLC 410W. W stands for wireless. It is 4 megapixel Super HD cam, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz dual band Wi-Fi, external SD, plug and play, support audio recording, that is nice, IP66 waterproof for outdoor, nice, 2 year limited warranty, live view with real link up, nice slogan, be prepared, be real link. Let's see what's in the box, quick start guide, Stickers, nice, a lot of them, template for mounting, quick start guide in different languages, hmm, LAN cable for wireless camera, good. The guys from Reolink have put a LAN cable inside the box of a wireless camera and you eventually use the cable only once during the initial setup, after that you can throw it away. Also, they put not one, but five stickers inside, like you bought five cameras. That is what I'm talking about in my unified Dream Machine video. When I see something like this, that means to me a lot. There is attention to the details. Small things like this immediately makes me trust the brand even more. Good job, Reolink. I really like that. Now let's continue. Two antennas. Mounting screws, wrench, EU adapters and UK adapters, extension cable, which seems to be very long, good, this is the adapter I believe, yes, let's see how this can be put it. And the camera itself. Power connector, a button, and one port. Very nice. This is metal. LEDs. This is the barcode that you have to scan. From here, you can tight the moving parts. This is how I will mount the antennas. This is the SD slot, micro SD slot, here. What is the most important feature when... What is the most important feature when you are choosing a security camera? Is it the megapixels, the night vision, 
the wireless connectivity, the brand or the price or maybe something else. Let me know in the comments below. It feels really solid camera, very durable one and it should be like that because it's supposed to be mounted outdoor. Nice, very nice. You can find more details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Nothing more, but I believe this is enough. We saw what is in the box. To set up the camera, just connect it to your network with the LAN cable. Download the Reulink app on your phone, then scan the barcode on your camera from the Reulink app. Easy as walk in the park. One of the most important part, besides smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm, is to get your username and password for the camera so we can use it for the RTSP link. I will show you where to find these credentials if you like me forget your admin password for the camera. Open your real link camera, click on the gear view button, then go to advanced, user management, and here you can add additional administrator user or normal users. It's easy. We have all we need from the Reulink app. Now let's connect the camera to Motion Eye. These are the working RTSP links that we will use for Motion Eye, Blue Iris, Node Red, and Home Assistant. The only thing that you have to change if you want to use them is your camera IP, this one, and your username and your password. This is the username and this is the password. Usually the default user is admin, but like I showed you, you can change this. So I'll copy this URL and I'll open my motion I web interface. None of my current cameras are working because I'm playing with the VLANs of my Unified Dream Machine. I will log in my, with the admin user of Motion Eye. In that way, I can add a camera just like that. Network camera. URL. I will paste the whole URL, but for the Motion Eye, I have to delete the username, actually to cut it and to paste it in the username field and I'll do the same for the password and then I'll remove also these characters here so the URL for the motion I will become this one and here is the username and the password detected my camera here you can choose TCP or UDP and click OK and here it is this is my camera and this is my dog here of course you can do many things here check out my motion eye video in order to understand all of these options. Like buttons and smashing are working great. Sorry, I meant Motion Eye and Reulink RLC 410W are working great. Now let's continue with Blue Iris. I will open the computer where Blue Iris is installed. This is version 4 of the Blue Iris. It's a paid product. There is a newer version version 5, which is more modern and it has more features, but I have only the version 4. So I will show you this one. I believe the newer version, these steps will be the same or even easier. So I'll click on the plus button and I will paste the URL here. I'll type my username and the password. Then I'll click OK. 
okay again and if my password is right I will, I should see the video streaming yes very nice it is working you can configure a lot of options from here camera properties motion trigger record etc etc no issues with blue iris and Reolink RLC 410W. Now let's try not red. My dog is not dead, it's just sleeping all day long. So let's continue with not red. My not red is installed as add-on in Home Assistant. So I'll go to Supervisor. You can also install it from here if you have Home Assistant. Uh, then not red. Configuration. You should add this line here in order to include FFmpeg package in your Node-RED installation. By default, the config looks like this, like that. You should add this line, remove the brackets. Be careful with the indentation here. There should be two spaces. Uh, then you have to click save and restart the add-on. Hey there! If you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's continue. Mm, then you can open Node-RED. Of course, if you have standalone Node-RED installation, you should check for this FFM package that should be included. Then you can go to my video description and you should copy this JSON flow. Control C or Command C and import it in your Node-RED just like that and click import. You will receive something similar in your screen. The only thing that you have to change is inside this node and it's actually the RTSP link, your username here, your password here, from here to here, and the IP of your camera. Then you have to click done, deploy, and start stream. Here it is, here is my stream. It is working, of course, you can do a lot of things from here, you can cast the image to your Chromecast, for example, or any other capable device. Node-RED and RTSP enabled real income are working fine. Now let's try to add this camera to Home Assistant. Let's check the Home Assistant now, I'll click on the stop button to stop the stream. Then I'll go to File Editor. This is the, the lines that you have to add in your configuration, either by File Editor or by your favorite text editor. You should edit the configuration.yaml file. I will paste these lines in the video description, so don't try to remember them. Again, username and password and the IP. And the platform again is the FFM pack. Then you have to save and you have to restart your home assistant. Um, before restarting, check your configuration from here and then restart. I will not do that at the moment because I already added these lines. Uh, then in order to add the camera, click on the three dots here and then on configure UI plus button, picture glance, type a name here, for the entity, choose the entity that will be visible when you restart your home assistant, as you can see, dream is displayed here, and optionally, you can also add both entities here, the big window and the small window. This is the big one, this is the small one, or vice versa, it doesn't matter, and click save. 
Now, if I click on these little icons here, I should open the big window and the small window. Very good. It is working. I just want to show you two more things. The first one is the night vision of the real link cam and the second is my dog that is actually alive. <laughs> You can also see my cat here. Any sort of engagement on this channel does really help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So you make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Also, feel free to add me on Twitter by searching for this username. I'm trying to post there frequently. You can also find me on my Discord server as well. I really hope that you find this information useful and you now know more about Reolink cameras, RTSP, MotionEye, Blue Iris, Nodred and Home Assistant. Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you next time.